Siasa za urithi wa nyafa mbalimbali serikalini ndio gomzo kuu nchini hivi sasa. Hivi karibuni mbunge mteule David Olesankok ametisha kuelekea mahakamani ili kuzuia Raila Odinga kuania kiti cha urais katika uchaguzi wa mwaka huu. Akihutubia wanahabari yo jana Jumane kutoka nyumbani kwake, mbunge huyo alisema kuwa hatua yake ilitokana na madai ya makosa ya wahini yaliyotekelezwa na kiongozi huyo wa ODM. Somebody by the name Raila Odinga, a presidential candidate who committed treason two times in 1982. And I don't know if he served if the 9 year term, jail term that he served was part of the 1982 coup. He also sweared himself in in 2008 Kulingana na Sankok, Raila Odinga anafaa kushtakiwa kwa tuhuma za mapinduzi ya serikali mwaka elfu moja kenda mia themani na mbili na kuapishwa kwake kama rais wa watu mapema mwaka elfu mbili na nane katika bustani ya Uhuru Park. Sankok alisema kuwa amekusanya kundi la mawakili na wangefika mahakamani kwa ajili yake licha ya sola hiyo. Yet the person who sweared himself who sweared him that is uh, uh, TJ Kajuang he is actually having a case in court the other person who participated in the swearing in of Raila as president bonoko he have been deported that is miguna so he have been punished yet there is no punishment that have been meted upon Raila Amolo Ondinga is it because of the handshake does the handshake wash All your sins licha ya kutofichwa tarehe ambayo atawasilisha kesi yake Sankok alisema visa hivyo viwili viliacha usoni wa Raila hivyo kufutilia mbali sifa zake za kuania wadhifa huo mkuu nchini kwa misingi ya uhadilifu David Ole Sankok ni mbunge mteule kwenye bunge la kitaifa na anawakilisha watu wenye ule maavu. Alizaliwa tarehe 11 Desemba mwaka nane maeneo ya Entotol County ya Narok. Mwaka wa tisa aliugua ugonjwa wa pneumonia uliosababisha hali yake ya hii leo. Alianza masomo yake Ole Sankale Primary School kabla ya kuelekea Kericho High School. Aliingia chuo kikuu cha Nairobi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia tisini na nane kusomea udaktari ambapo aliteuliwa kuwa mwenyekiti wa muungano wa wanafunzi enzi hizo alitorokea taifa la Norway baada ya maisha yake kuwa hatarini na kisha baadaye kurejea nchini mwaka elfu mbili na mbili kuendelea na masomo yake Nairobi alipofuzu mwaka elfu mbili na tano mimi ni papa kombo <tune> Karika habari udako na burdani papa kombo hapa ndipo